God. Because we're live. We're live. Are we live? I think we're live. That's the wrong way round. Oh, no, I don't like it this way round. Do you want to swap? Let's swap places. That's better. Okay, guys, sorry for the delay there. Can you hear us all right? Can everybody hear us all right? Oh, thank you. Somebody just let us know if they can hear us. Right, so because this is our first live, I was just, I was basically fanning around with the settings on the video. Uh, which is why we're late. Which is why we're late. <sighs> Seriously. I think the comments are a little bit behind as well, so I might um, oh, just keep an eye on the phone as well, just to see if we can. How is everybody anyway? Can you hear us all right? Can everybody hear us okay? Here we go. Yeah. We. Okay. So. I'm going to keep an eye on the phone as well because the comments on here are a little bit behind. So everyone's coming on really fast. How is everybody doing anyway? Are you all okay? Is everybody good? Happy uh, Good Friday. We've had an amazing day today. Uh, well, that'll be in the vlog tomorrow night. We've been out pretty much all day with the little ones. <clears throat> I went to the beach this morning and then went to the went to the shop with them, then went to the woods and went to the park. Joseph loved it. He absolutely he loved Sorry, it. I'm looking at the column. So well, you, you do, you do the comments. Hi, Louise. Hi, Carly. Please, can you say hi to Blossom? Hi, Blossom. Hi, Blossom. Hi, Marie. Hi, Angela. <laughs> hi, Anne. Hi, oh. Susan. Some of them went up. Hi, really Brandy, fast to go back Laura, Charlotte, Anna. Hi, Tracy. Yeah, so um, I was basically. I'd set up the live, and then I didn't realise that we actually had to go on. I thought it was magic. What we set up to go live just happened. But I know what to do now, and I was like that. <laughs> so I almost ran, I almost ran and sat in the uh, cupboard under the stairs <clears> and cried. <throat> but we've got it going now anyway. So I just want to say thank you so much, guys, to everybody that's commented uh, leading up to our first live and the and the questions you put on. Absolutely fantastic, honestly. Um, and the interest in the live is amazing as well. Um, we're going to obviously, Hi, Olivia. we're going to try and shout out as much as possible um, while we're nattering for this next hour or so. Sitting eating fish and chips. Oh, no way. It's going to make me hungry. So, we're, to Julia. Hi, Julia. So, we're going to have a Chinese later. And our Chinese is going to consist of, right? We, we like to push the bar, don't we? We do the same thing every week. We just have the same thing every so week. So, we've tried to have something different every week, but. It just doesn't work, right? So it's sweet and sour chicken Cantonese and chicken chow mein, egg fried rice and chips. And chips. I can't wait for that. To be nice. Whatever we don't eat, the kids finish. So also it did the Timu haul today as well. So if you've been watching, you'll have seen that I've, I've got a few things for the kids to do for, for Easter. Um, I was literally loads of items for under 20 quid. Um, so we opened that up today. That's going to be part of tomorrow night's vlog. Um, and they loved it. They absolutely loved it. So all the little bits and bobs and the pencils and that, they're, oh, they're all ace. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, I really appreciate it. So one, one of the questions that we did have was um, about a PO box. Me and Zoe have talked about getting a PO box. I just wanted to, to talk about that. Um, it's not something we've approached at the moment. It's I think it's about £40 a month for a PO box, but it's something that we are going to look at look at over the next um the next year, see, see what we can do. Um, I think that's more mice for that one. Um, I had some questions actually from, so I'm going to say some highs. Chrissy's channel, how you doing? Liz Bradford, Sarah Preston, Sally Smith, uh, Anita Sheehan. I'm sorry if I get the names wrong. Um, Elaine Rogers, Lucy Gale, Ruth Parkinson, how you doing? Julie Leaney, Claire Nanelli. Um, and like I said, I'm sorry if I get, if I get the pronunciation wrong. Helen Jackson, Jane Kleber, uh, Life of Nicole, Family of Five. How you doing? All right. Lucy Jones, uh, more and more, obviously. Tracy uh, Alcock, Tracy C, 
and then um, Sarah Bark is there as well. And we've got some on Instagram as well. So we've got some questions on Instagram uh, from Irish Stevie, Smurf, Carol Scammell, Jill Hussey, uh, and Claire. So, yeah, thank you so much for all the interest, guys. Honestly, we really, really appreciate it, don't we? Yes. Yeah. So we were quite nervous about doing this. You'll have to speak as well if you want. I have to speak. <laughs> no, I mean, I tell, tell me to shut up if you want to tell me to shut up. But no, um, we were quite apprehensive. We've, we've always been apprehensive about doing a live. I don't know why. Um, maybe well, it's because... because you're more in control of doing videos, I don't know, or editing your own videos and, and stuff like that. But um, we just thought we would do it. We've, we've literally just put all the little ones to bed. They've all gone to bed now, haven't they? Well, they're kind of... Oh, they're up, they're up, they're just chilling now, they're aren't chilling they? chilling out, yeah, at the moment. And the other ones, some are here, some are at work. Some are just doing their own thing. Yeah. So some of the quick questions that we were asked then, <clears throat> are we going to renew our landmark passes? We're planning to go to landmark next week. And when we go to Landmark, we're going to renew the passes for this year because obviously we absolutely love the place, don't we? It's just I think our... it's, although they are more expensive every year we buy them, but um, it's one of those places that we go all the time, as you'll probably know. And it's one of those places we can take everybody to, young ones and big ones. And like the older ones will go off and do bits that they want to do. The younger ones will Hi, stick Kat. around. It's it's safe. David. Everybody's safe. Everybody Nigel. enjoys it. So, um, yeah, we... Uh, Jackie. It's definitely a... Samantha, Tanya. It's definitely a one to buy again, isn't it? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. You know, we're definitely... We, so we do the landmark passes every year, pr primarily because there's somewhere where we can go, and landmark's one of those places. Did you just say that? that Hi, Tilly. It, yeah, you were listening to me, weren't you? Was it not? No. I can, so I, was, over, I, you so I can't, I can't split my brain. I was just... I was doing something else. It wasn't listening to me. Yeah, so did you say about the fact that it, it, it costs you the same to have annual passes as it so does. So if we went twice, yeah, it costs us it. the same as an annual pass. So as long as we use it more than twice, we've got our money back. And I mean, we last year we went about 10 times, 10, 11, 12 times, yeah. something like that. It's kind of like, because you can go, it's almost like a free day out, isn't it? Although you've already paid for it. Yeah. You just have to pay for the food and the transport and all that sort of stuff. Um, but the kids, but some, yeah, they love it. The kids like make it like Olivia and Isabel and all, they all like making a picnic. Like doing to, doing um, strawberries and all that kind of stuff, so it's really nice. Uh, another question we had from Chrissy's channel. Hi, Chrissy's channel. Are we going back to the cabin this year? So we're not going to go back to um, Snowy River Lodge, but we are going to try somewhere else, aren't we? In Abbeymore, yes. same place. There is we. It's quite lucky actually. Yeah. Um, up here, there are quite a lot of places to stay in Aviemore. There's quite a yeah. lot of lodges. There's quite a lot of larger lodges for, you know, and more people. We are quite lucky, actually, in yeah. that sense. Um, but we're going to we try, we're gonna we? try a different one this time, um, mainly because the other one is booked up. But also, although, you know, the other one was lovely and we've got some really lovely memories from being there, um, but we kind of want a little bit more space, yeah. didn't we? Yeah, um, we do. So and plus we're just going to give a different one. Yeah, we're just about to try we something else. So we really nice, and obviously when we when we do sort of book and go, we'll show you, um, show you all around. Yeah. Can I just say if the camera's flickering, it's the strip light. I didn't realise it would flicker like that, so I apologise for that. But what what we might do next time is go in a different room. Oh, we might have to do it in the dining. Yeah, room. we might have to do it in a different that. room. So yeah, because it's, it's just flickering. Uh, so I apologise for that. But what we will do if we carry on doing lives like we're planning to do. Um, we'll get the gear, the proper gear. It's quite annoying. You don't actually notice the strip light. I think the strip light in our old house was worse. It's just the it's the it's one. just the refresh rate of the camera is picking up the strip light. That's all it is. It's a pain in the butt. Sometimes when I'm filming outside, if I'm filming the house, you can see the lights flickering because it's the refresh rate of the camera. But there's nothing. Sorry, guys, we can't do much about that. But there we go. Uh, who's that? Hi, Max. Nana Caddy, is it Caddy Moo? Val Goddard, how you doing? Janice. Hi from Jamaica. Hi, Joan. How you doing, Joan? Claire. Hi, Eva. Oh, <laughs> <sad> <laughs> <lunch>. <laughs> right, so what else did we get then? So. Uh, yeah, you're right, Lindsay, it does. Um, would we go to Cornwall on holiday? We would love And I'm, and I'm going to, go to combine that question to somebody else asked. A similar question: Would we move back to Cornwall? 
We only had that conversation recently, didn't we? We, did. we, we were actually feeling a little bit homesick because we haven't been to Cornwall for about 12 years. We haven't been to Cornwall, back to Cornwall since since we left when I was pregnant with Eva and we moved to Oxfordshire and obviously Eva was 12 last September. Yeah. So it's near it's probably about 13 years this summer since we've Hi, moved, Luke. since we've moved back. Hi um, Rebecca. And yeah, I, I don't know. It's difficult because we've lived up here for 10 years now. Susan. And this is where the kids' home is, yes. isn't it? And even like Lizzie's coming up 19, so she's been here since she was sort of eight or nine. Um, they've never, you know, the little ones were born here. So Hi, Lisa. As much as Cornwall is our home, it's not their home. No. So they only spent, I mean, the eldest two were, Olivia was three weeks old when we left Cornwall. Yeah. And then we moved back for a while when they were a little bit older, but only for about a year. Six, no, it was, it, was no, it even a year. Just under a year. year. So they've lived... North Wales, Oxfordshire, lots of different places from being in the RAF, but this is the longest place they've ever lived. And as much as I miss being in Cornwall and I miss Cornwall and I miss I miss my friends, we miss the family. Yeah. Um, it's not the kids' home, is it? No. This is the kids' home. But as far as going on holiday, we would love to go on holiday. Yes. Cornwall. And we, we are planning that maybe ironically. For us to go on holiday to Cornwall is more expensive than for us to go on holiday in Greece. Uh, and that includes flights and um, transport and a place to stay. It's extremely expensive to stay. I think in the problem, the problem at High Lindsay in New Zealand, um, thank you for getting up early. Um, the problem. Oh, Val's from North Wales. The problem. What a da, Val. <laughs> the problem comes in trying to get out of Scotland. So we are. Up here, we're about four hours from Glasgow. So if we drove down, I don't know if some of the younger ones could do the drive. Joseph, no. I'm not sure, could do the drive. But if we fly down, the flights would cost us about five grand, wouldn't yeah. they, alone? And then yeah, it's crazy. places to stay in Cornwall, obviously, if we're going to stay somewhere, a large places to stay in Cornwall are just ridiculously mm -hmm. priced, twice the price of staying up here. Um, obviously, there's a lot of us. We can't stay with any family because the, it, it's, there's just not enough space um, to, to, for anyone to Thank you, up. Cindy. So we will go one day, but um, and I want I'm desperate to mm. take the kids back to show them all the things we did as kids, the beaches, flambards. Anybody that's from Cornwall will know flambards. Um, all those sorts of things. Eden project. Eden project. I want to take all, them all because the old ones don't really remember. Lizzie remembers some of it, doesn't she? But the rest of them yeah. don't remember. And obviously the little ones have never been. Um, so yeah, it's definitely I really really want to. <laughs> Val, I'm there speaking Welsh, and Val goes Val just said I'm English. I'm not English. I'm I'm not English. I'm Cornish. There's a difference. Whoa, that's very divisive. Right. Anyway, that also leads us on to another question we were asked: was um, where would our dream holiday be? Is there only one answer to that? Florida. Florida. Disneyland. I've Universal. never in my life. I've never ever been to Florida. I've never done the whole bizzo. You know, going to this Kennedy Space Center, going to all those sorts of things. You know, Disney Disney World. Yeah, that's the dream, the dream. But obviously that will cost us an absolute fortune um, at the moment before all of us to go to Florida. It's but lot. it would be absolutely amazing. Thank you, Hayley. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's a lot of money yeah. to go. A lot. Yeah. So one day, one day, one day. Better, one day. Keep dreaming, keep dreaming. Same as my my first, our, our first YouTube play, but I keep saying mine. Yeah, you do keep saying mine. Right. What else have we yeah, got we then? would love Florida. I know the kids would love it. And I kind of, I'd love to have taken them like before the older ones get too old, if you know what I mean. Um, but equally, they're coming with us regardless. Even if they're married with kids, they're coming with us. So when we can afford to go to Florida, I'm taking them. Yeah, definitely. So one of the questions that lots of you have asked is, is about the kids calling us by our first names, right? So this started... The older ones started to do it to wind us up just for a bit of a joke. All right. So they used to call us Ben and Zoe, Ben and Zoe, uh, rather than mummy and daddy. Um, it just stuck. It just stuck. And it's, I it's mean, the such... little, we, we're a bit stricter with the little ones. Yes. The little ones, um, they might say it for a joke occasionally, but we do with the little ones, it's it's mummy and daddy. Yeah. But with the older ones, it's just kind of stuck, to be honest. And I don't really mind. So I'm not really bothered. No, I'm not bothered at um, all. It's not a, like a, a disrespectful thing or anything. It's quite endearing. Thanks, really, Stevie. To be honest. They, they um they just call us Ben and Zoe, don't they? Yeah, it's quite cute, really. Yeah, it is. It is quite cute because we we like to have 
we're like, we're quite proud of the relationship we've got with our teens. Um, I know it's difficult sometimes with teenagers and it can be quite fiery, but um I know I think teen I think teenagers get a bad rap. Nowadays. Yeah, I know I do. That, not nowadays, always. Yeah. Teenagers have always got a bad mm, rap. It's true. And I think it's unfair. I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, there's always there is always bad, you know, Thank stages you, Linda. or whatever. But I do I do kind of think teenagers get a a bad reputation. Sometimes yes. it's warranted, mm -hmm. obviously. For most of the time, they're just, you know, we've all we've all been teenagers. We've all been there. Carolyn's just said, my kids call me by my first name. Yeah, quite a few people have said that, actually. Yeah, yeah. We've it's, all been it's, teenagers. It's just a... we? We've all been there, and we all know the decisions you make as a teenager sometimes are quite, you know, your brain is not wired up to be, an, no. you're not an adult, are you? So kids do get, teenagers get a bad rap, and I think we've always been very aware of that, haven't we? Mm -hmm. We've always been very aware of um just it's, being it's, honest how, it's how it's how, it's how teenagers change as well i mean they instantly change and it's so scary when they go from primary school scary. so they, they do this leavers thing at primary school and then they go to to high school and within about within a matter of months they've gone within two months i don't even recognize them anymore they've just totally changed they go from being a p yeah. little p7 to being like a an s1 it's just crazy yeah how fast they change. It, it really is uh, right, so let me have a look at some of the other questions that we've got. Um, Elaine Rogers asked, do we ever argue? Not really. And that's us being honest. Very occasionally. It's very rare. Sometimes we get fed up discussing certain things like money and things like that, don't we? And and it's not a, it's not an argument as such. Thanks, Carl. I, don't, I, I mean, we might have done when we were younger, maybe. Yeah. I don't think we no. really do now. I can't, to be honest. I don't think I we've got bothered. the time. I haven't got the energy. <laughs> I haven't got the energy to argue. I hate arguments. I hate arguing. I hate I hate going to bed on a bad note. That's one thing, actually, we've always said. We never yeah. go to bed on a bad note. If yeah. we've fallen out with anybody, Clear or the we've air. had words with anybody or anything, it's done. In our house, Clear it's done. Air. It doesn't get dragged on. You know, I don't like pulling rank as a parent, but occasionally you have to pull rank as a parent, even yeah. when you don't want to, because we're very honest with our kids. We're very honest with the teens. You know, they talk to us about anything. We don't. They don't hide stuff from us. We don't hide stuff from them. We've always been very open with them. And I think that's probably why we've got such a good relationship with them now. But occasionally you do, you are still a parent, aren't you? You still have to pull rank. So um, I don't like, I don't like going to bed on an argument. No, I don't So either. we very rarely. And you're all right, aren't you? I like you. Yeah, you're all right. Carolyn's just said, um, no one needs a cupboard for his snacks. Oh, don't even talk to me. You're lucky he's not here because he'd be in the fridge. He's practically in the fridge all the time. Yep. Everyone on the phone to my mum knows he's in the fridge or he's in the cupboard or he's in the fridge. In fact, he's had his dinner. He's had a massive slice of cake from Isabel, um, a double slice of cake from Isabel's Easter cake, which if you follow my Instagram, you would have seen, and it was amazing. Yeah. Um, he's gone to work, and he'll come home and have half a pizza with Olivia later. So he just, it just, he's a teenage boy. I've never, people always warned me about teenage boys. Good luck, Hayley, with your son performing. Ah, that's nice. Arguing is a waste of precious time. You're right. I just can't bother. Yeah, I, I, too we're too much. tired to argue, too tired. Just, isn't it? We're lucky we get on really well, don't we? Yeah. But then we've we we've known each other for a um, really long time. We've also got our, our own little jobs. we our own jobs. We know what we're doing. We just come downstairs, even if we're on, even if we're in uh, robot mode, we know what we're doing, don't we? So that leads me on to another question from Sarah Preston. Where and how did we meet? Did we always want a large family? So Zoe and I met in Camborne in Cornwall, and I'm not going to start singing Going Up Camborne Hill, Coming Down, because that is the local song, um, and I know it off by heart. Don't sing it. No, but we met in Camborne when we were, when we were a lot younger, and when I say a lot, a lot younger, probably uh, teens. Teens. And then, basically, I left... Camborne to join the Air Force in, when I was 20, and Zoe left to go to Portsmouth, didn't you? Yeah, don't ask why. Um, I left when I was younger to go to Portsmouth. We both went off and did Yeah, it went, we just went to see the world a little bit. See the world. <laughs> I went to Portsmouth and Southampton and the Isle of Wight. Yeah. But it was, you know, they're nice places. And then um, I got, so I got posted down to St. Morgan, RAF St. Morgan in Newquay, um, which was amazing, by the way. Best seven years of my career. Absolutely loved it. I moved back not long after you moved back. Yeah. And we found each other. Yeah, we bumped into each other again. And where um, was that? That was in it was in the it was in the loft in L2. So was it, no, there was a pub we were in beforehand that um, was it the William or something? No, like what's that? that one that you go 
in like the shopping bit. It used to oh, be yeah. What's it called? I can't remember. I know the one you mean. It's in Truro anyway. Yeah, so, so anyway, we were, we were out in Truro and when we rest, used to drink a long time ago. The rest is history. Um, yeah, so we, we, we went to L2 together, didn't we? Or it used to be the Loft, a nightclub called The Loft in Cornwall, in Troy. So we went there and then um, that was that, wasn't it? And before that, um, we got I married. We, after that, we got married. So after that, we got married because there was a certain little somebody on the way, Elizabeth. I think we were probably married and pregnant with Elizabeth within 18 months. We? I've got to be completely honest. I was ready to settle down years before me and Zoe bumped into yeah, each other again. I mean, I'd, is, I'd had enough of the whole... Ben was 30 when we had Lizzie, and I I'd was 26. So, going out you know. going out partying and all that kind of stuff. I don't know. I, I really wanted to settle down. And to answer the second part of the question is, did we always want a large family? So I'm the eldest of five, um, and I was I always wanted to have a large family. And you've only got your brother, haven't you? I've got one brother. So um, I don't know. I don't think we ever set out to like a lot of people ask this question. Yeah. And every interview we've done has asked this question. And I don't actually I always answer it the same because we didn't actually sort of say we're gonna have this many children. It just kind of we had Elizabeth. I literally didn't have a clue what I was doing. And <laughs> I thought I was quite experienced because I babysat, I looked after other children, I've been a childminder, thought I knew it all, had Elizabeth, didn't have a clue. Where it felt really, I mean, I was spoken about this before, but I just thought, I don't know what I'm doing. My baby cries all the time. Nobody else just does that. So then we had Olivia. And then obviously we had the twins. Hi, Sarah. And um, the rest is kind of history, isn't it? We just kind of kept kept having more. I think we had, we had Noah um, and then Eva and Toby. And then we moved to Scotland, didn't we? Yes. And, um, yes. We didn't kind of, there were seven then when we moved to Scotland. We didn't say we weren't going to have any more, but equally we didn't say that we weren't. And then you went and did a tour somewhere. I can't remember where it was. Falklands. Was it Falklands or was it, I don't know, you did Utah, the Falklands, quite a few different places. And then when you came back was when we said, let's have another baby. And we had the twins, seven yes. set of twins. Yeah, we did. Which kind of was, everything went wrong. Um so yeah, then we had Agnes and she's really cute. And then we had Joseph and he's really cute. So I'm, then we have Florence and she's really cute. I'm sorry, so, somebody's just put a comment on. I think it was a guy called Luke. Um, hi Luke. He's just put, are oh, the rumors true? Are we starting an OnlyFans? <laughs> I, keep, I keep threatening the kids with that. They're like, no. <laughs> Can you imagine an OnlyFans? Doing what? Sleeping? Yeah, that'll probably be about it. Start our own OnlyFans, just us snoring. That'd be, that'd be what it is. There'd be nothing exciting on our only fans, honestly. If, time, if we did ever start to set one up. First time being a mum is, is, is scary. It is scary. It really is scary. And yep. even if you think you're prepared, it's, it's... You haven't got a clue. It's really frightening. To be honest, I mean, think nothing that shocks... Well, no, I say nothing shocks us. Things do still shock us. But I think things still happen that we, we're like, how do we handle this as parents? How do we do this? I, I just so, so, this. so the one I remember... When we had Elizabeth, we took Elizabeth home, and then so you've been in you've been in the maternity ward for a good couple of days. Lizzie was born right? in Trelisk, wasn't she? Yeah, Trelisk in Cornwall. Then we put this little baby in this carrier, and off you go. Yeah, back to the car. Then you're an hour and a half trying to strap it in the car because you don't know if you've done it right don't know or how not. To work the car seat. Right. Then you get home, and then you put this car seat on the table, and then you go, "What do we do now?" It's, it's and it's scary. pretty much like that. And I remember the first time because we had to we phoned the wards. It was the first time we'd ever seen a baby projectile vomit, right? And I mean, it's like something from The Exorcist. I think it? Lizzie like, had like a lactose intolerance. She did. We didn't and know because she, she, she didn't really understand. And I I, I phoned the wards. <laughs> didn't know what it was doing. <laughs> the baby's exploded. How? But yeah, it's um, it's crazy. I always forget which is Isabel's twin. Isabel and Charlotte are the twins, although Isabel and Olivia look more alike. Um, but, yeah, Charlotte and Isabel are the older twins. They're not identical. And then, obviously, Leah and Erin are the identical little ones. Just don't look on the coins. Evangeline again. Hi, Evangeline. She was playing the actress. Oh, yeah, so Cheryl said, are we going to do some more of the cooking videos? I'm trying to get Isabel to do some. Isabel is just... Has just so I know there's been lots of questions about... Um, what kind of hobbies do the kids do and are, are they working and all this kind of stuff. We try, we try and keep the, the kids private lives private, what they, whatever they the do, but ones. the older ones, but um, Isabel well, the young has just things, you know, yeah, you know what I mean? But Isabel's got this real talent for cooking. And she enjoys cooking. She Sometimes loves it I'm so like, much. You don't have 
to cook again if you don't. she's like no i want to cook yeah and i'll start cooking a meal and she'll come and take over yeah she's um, done that to me and i'm like okay i'll just i'll just get stand in here she's just we have this. actually said me and isabel are gonna because we you know what it's like when, when i do the shopping vlogs and everything you, you're like oh what should we have to eat oh we'll do this meal and this meal and this meal you stick to your hi peggy of, you stick to your safe ones don't you because you know what you're doing and all that but me and isabel have said we're going to look at some different recipes that we've not tried and we have to be a little bit mindful because there's lots of different people that like different certain things or have preferences or can eat certain things. Um, so it's nice to find a meal that most people will yeah. eat. So we are going to have a look. And obviously that's affordable as well because, you know, meat is expensive. Chicken Hi, Donna. Is a fortune. Happy Easter. Um, so that's why we use quite a lot of vegetables. But we are going to have a look and find some recipes and maybe do one a week that is a different kind of one that we've not tried before yeah. and film that. We have spoken about that. We were supposed to do it last week and we forgot. Yeah. Um, and Isabel's, she, she wants to do her pizza bag of bagels at some point. Yes. And there was something else, wasn't there? Crunch wraps. I think she was going to talk about maybe. Crunch wraps are nice. She's come up with all of these uh, recipes. She finds a lot of recipes on TikTok. And, um, Happy Easter. And the, so those are the sort of ones we, we might give a go and the ones that she finds on TikTok, like the chicken sort of ones. Kelly Clark, you just asked about the merch. What do you think about this T-shirt? Hang on, I've got to get the camera in. So obviously, this is the new merch, and I talked about it in today's vlog, which oh, will go no, up tomorrow. Sorry, front. It'll go up tomorrow. Can you see that? Vlogging since 2018. Sullivan family. But also... Zoe's come up with a couple of designs oh, herself. This is something different. So oh, Zoe right. says, be the reason someone smiles today. And there's going to be like a couple of other sen sentiments as well that we're going to do. But the trouble with us, the trouble that we've got at the moment is I want to set up uh, Shopify because you can attach Shopify to YouTube. And I'll talk about this in tomorrow's vlog. But it's having the time to set it all up. So we're, we're getting there. We are getting there. Honestly, we've been trying to set up merch for the last couple of years, to be honest. It was actually Agnes that came up with TSS. Yes. Agnes said, why did we call it TSS? And I was like, do you know what? You're a genius. No, this side. Charles a genius. Um, yeah. So we just thought, yeah, it's a really good idea, actually. I like yeah. that. Because we've been trying to find a logo for ages. Mm -hmm. I mean, we did find one. And I did the kids a jumper and I did Ben a t-shirt. But I wasn't particularly happy with it. No, it didn't, it didn't really work, did it? It didn't really work. I like this one. So It's trial and error. Um, so we're going to do mugs, hoodies, maybe jumpers like that. And t -shirts. a sweatshirt. But we'll probably, I'll probably do the same sort of thing as I do with my leopard fox stuff, to be honest. But m the colours will probably, um, I don't know. I've done Ben a t-shirt as well, which has got blue with white. Yeah, it's nice. On grey. And the back, I think, says time for an adventure on the back, doesn't it? So there's fine, one of them, the kids have got one that says find yeah. your happy on the back. Um, Ben's got one that says time for an adventure. It's all sort of things that resonate with us and the things that we do. And obviously we spend a lot of time outdoors walking you know it's all sort of this our kind of ethos in life i think yeah isn't it? yeah um so well yeah. it is because walking for me is therapy it's as simple as that um i love walking and to be honest with you i get the little ones out i mean the older ones are a bit hit and miss now obviously because they they're doing their own thing um but they, with, think, with uh, regards okay. to the little ones their, their mood today was absolutely amazing because we did so much this morning we went out in the sunshine all day pretty much and um they loved it and they were really chill and even joseph it just I, I i'm kind of repeating what i said in the vlog today but with joseph you've got he would be quite happy to sit and play his xbox all day he'd be quite happy to do that but you've kind of got to remind him how much fun there is to be had outside to you so you might you get have a bit taken away from obviously not playing all day long so you have to kind of you know we'll yeah do go for a walk or we'll go and do something different in the house yes. or you know and he might and he otherwise might, he would just sit there all the time wouldn't he? and he might play up for the first 10 minutes but he can't eat as soon as we're outside he goes oh yeah i actually like this and then you're away aren't you you're down the beach and all that kind of stuff so it's really really good thank you fiona we will, honestly, merch is one of those things that we've been trying to get out and trying to do the right thing. And But for us, I think the best thing to do is because not everybody has Instagram. So the best thing for us to do is to get a Shopify up and running and then we can... It's also difficult, like, because obviously I've got an Instagram page and a Facebook page and they've both got messen Hi, Emma. Messenger on them. But then sometimes I'm frightened that I might miss a message from somebody. I've missed one the other day somebody messaged me about and I missed it because I, I hadn't... I've also got my own Instagram, the 
the Sullivan Thanks, Family Jacqueline. Live Messenger and our Sullivan Family Page Messenger on the other one. So I'm constantly Thanks, flicking Jackie. between messenger groups, which quite often means that I miss messages from the kids because they're always like, why did you not get my message? And I'm like, uh, because I was on the wrong messaging group and it didn't notify me. They're like, you're supposed to pick me up half an hour ago. I'm like, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. So we do, we also do try and um, uh, comment back to people as much as we can. But sometimes if we, if we miss your comments, honestly, we could just say sorry, but sometimes we do. And, and it's just, um, but we will try and comment back as much as possible. Just look at some of the comments now. <laughs> Zoe, yeah. do you feel better today? I do feel better, actually. Actually, do you know what? I you were quite been, rough, to so be I've fair. So I've been taking, I don't know if it's got anything to do with it or not, but I've been taking ages. A few months ago, I did a vlog about taking, starting to take some vitamins. Um, and I've been taking different types of vitamins. We always have, like, we have a Barocca in the morning and we always have multivitamin. But I'd started taking some other vitamins as well. So I've taken some Focus ones, which have got lion's mane mushrooms. I've been taking some Hi, various, hormone support ones for... Um, stuff Hi, and all that sort of stuff and i i've been taking them for about four months six maybe six months and i don't know if that's got anything to do with the fact that i didn't get as i thought i was going to get much more poorly than i did thanks estelle because normally <clears throat> when you get a cold you know you can feel it coming and then i'm normally out for a few days but this time it didn't kind of so whether it's a mild version all my vitamins are working yeah who knows i don't know we'll have to wait and see if next time i get any more ill Somebody's asked, has, has the team order arrived? Yep, yeah, and we've done that today. Kids loved it. I think, did I say that earlier? I think I did tonight. Yeah, so the team have all arrived and that's that's been done. So that'll be in tomorrow night's vlog. I've just gone to bed with all the stuff. Hi, Cassie. <sighs> well, where are the family now? Oh, do you know what? That's that's, a, that's quite a good question from Alfie about fostering. Um, if the kids are all grown up and gone away, would we, would we consider fostering? Yes. We've talked about it. Yeah, we would. Yeah, definitely. absolutely. Yeah, totally. I mean, it would be something that I would do now, but unfortunately, we don't have the space. So we, I mean, you have to have a whole extra room for if you're going to foster for obvious reasons. And um, um, we're probably not. It's probably not the right. No, it's not the right time at the moment because no. we've obviously got we we've got our own. Um, obviously, we've got our own busy life and family. So, um, but yeah, but yeah definitely. When the kids have when grown, the kids up, have grown up, gone. Well, yeah, definitely. That's, we've talked about that, haven't we? Um, I know it's it can be quite a difficult process to go through getting all the checks done and everything, but it's very worthwhile, I think. Would you release a book? I'd love to release a book. It's one of my ultimate dreams is to release a book. Honestly, it's always been one of my dreams to release a book. Um, so, yeah, definitely, definitely, I'd love to. Get right in. Get right in. <laughs> Just like someone, would you release it? Yeah, I've done that one. So, uh, wow, fostered for 38 years. Wow, wow Jenny. That's amazing. I can't. I, it's it's also one of those things that it's it's such an amazing thing to do, but it also must be really hard. Um, so yeah. Somebody's asked who who will be the first to fly the nest. So we we we're, we're thinking none of, them, none of them are ever leaving home because I'm not going to let them. We. <laughs> so he's going to wrap them in bungee. Simple. None of them. Are okay. So Elizabeth is no, she's not leaving home. She doesn't want to. Elizabeth is looking at the moment at going to university, but. Well, she is at university. She, no, she is at, sorry. So she, she is at university. She's at but... university. She's doing her first year of fine art degree. Yeah. But it's here in um in Elgin. So she's not away. But it's not necessarily the Correct path course. that she wants to go down. So she's looking at changing her degree to something more specialised to what she wants to do, which is like animation and stuff like that. But that isn't offered here. So it would be somewhere else. But she's not. Does she doesn't feel ready to do that just yet. No. So, um, Elizabeth is the <clears throat> master of underselling herself, and her art is phenomenal. It really is, uh, and I know we'd say that as parents, no, but it really, is. but it really is. And she's a real talent at art, and especially doing the anime or doing like. Don't do, say anime. She'll, oh she'll no, she knows she's no, not anime, but the the kind of not it's not cartoon, is it? It's, she also it's, is. It's, she's that, quite into like game designs. Game like design. That well, that's it. So, so, so it's kind of like game design and everything. But the big so the biggest university that does that up here is. Dundee, because most of the game, um, so most of the gaming companies are based around Dundee, and that's what she wants to get into. So she loves games like Sky, games like Link, uh, what's it called? Legend of Zelda, Zelda. Um, and things like that. All those kind of games where there's really pretty kind of. Um, I think Isabel should do a cookbook as well. So. Yes, 
but yeah, she's um so she's she's looking at that, but maybe um waiting a year. And somebody uh, so and getting some money up together. It, it was Lynn, Lynn actually asked if <clears throat> if any of the children are going to follow me my career in the Air Force. So I mean, I joined the Air Force in 1996 basically because um, unfortunately places like Cornwall, unless you go into the trades like electrician, plumber, gas, that sort of thing, it's very difficult to get a career as such. I mean, le unless you're in the kind of tourism. Um, catering industry you know bars and that kind of that kind of stuff so i joined the air force i got i got to know a couple of blokes that um were working from rf patrice at the time i don't even know it must be still there rf patrice i don't know i got to know them and then they i did a work a, a year's work years work experience with them and then joined the air force off the back of that and never looked back to be honest um it's one of those places if you if you like to do the same job all the time the military is good but on the flip side of that, if you like to do different jobs and be all over the place and try try living in different areas, it's also good for that as well. So the only person that's really shown any interest in joining the Air Force at the moment is Noah. But he wants to be a pilot. He wants to be a pilot. Um, whether he carries on doing that, I don't know. But he's looking at getting the qualifications that he needs to get over the first hurdle, which is going through the uh, careers information office, if that's what they're still called. And... Um, and then pass in to get into becoming an off, uh, a pilot. So, and that would be my advice to him. There's nothing wrong with being a junior rank um, up to like warrant officer, but um, for him, I, I would I I'd try to push him down that road. If he really wants to go and be a pilot, go and be a pilot definitely because you'll smash it. Um, and Noah's another one that will. <laughs> so he's like that. He's not going. He's not joining the military. I think the thing is with the military when you're young, it's a brilliant thing to do. Um, you know, when you can travel the world, you can see all sorts Pepsi of things, Max. but it's maybe not the best when you have a family. It, but so then... Military life is very difficult when you're married with children. It but really, then that also it, depends. Is. It depends on where you're posted. Yeah, it depends but it, on it, what. It's, it's all kinds. All kinds. Of, you can have a career in the military where you never go away, and you can have a career in the military where you're always away. And and it's just one of those things. It depends what trade you are, where you're working, what squadron you're on, there's all kinds of things. So who knows? So yeah, that was one of the questions that we have from Lynn. Would, would any of the children consider going into the military? I think at the moment um, it's Noah. Maybe, yeah. But then Toby was talking about becoming an air, uh, like an airline pilot. But then Toby is also very much into cars. Oh yeah, he likes his so cars he, as well. So he so he might get into cars. he's talking about getting into F one and all kind of things. But then somebody Toby's mentioned a minute ago, I saw a question go up about um the little twins like in art as well. And um to be honest, like Isabel is very good at art as well. In fact, most of them are quite good Ooh. at art, aren't they? We've always had and the, the little twins and Agnes love art. We've always had kind of open thing with craft and arts, haven't we? So there's always been paper, pens, craft equipment. It's always been readily available for all yep. the kids mm -hmm. ever since, you know, from Elizabeth upwards. We've got a, a massive amount of craft stuff and they spend most of their time. I mean, there's normally yesterday I did a reel of doing the girl's hair and Erin has sellotape in her hair because first thing in the morning, they're straight into the dining room, making, creating, drawing, you know, so it's a, it's always been we're both quite creative so it's always been a, a kind of it's just gone without saying that they they all and they are all most of them are pretty good at art no it's quite good at art. hi daniela well. um thank you but yeah isabel used to she doesn't do so much art now she puts most of her creativity into baking now, yeah she does she, but she used to do quite a lot of art she as is. well um but you'll, you'll see from our vlogs that um when we do the morning routine they're always in the dining room scribbling and doing doing some artwork or doing they're something like that so, um, and, and we try and encourage that anyway, don't we? All the time. We, I like, like doing all the crafty stuff. Right, let me have a look, see if I've missed any of the questions. Are any of them left-handed? Um, do you know, know, I think Florence might be left-handed. She keeps holding things with her left hand, but then she is only two, nearly. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Anita asked, Anita Sheehan asked, I'm oh, sorry if I didn't pronounce that right. Do we ever go on date nights? Mm. So this is what happens when me and Zoe go on a date night. That was nice. What do you want to do now? I can't be bothered. <laughs> I really can't. I, I, I can't. And it's not that we don't like our own company because we we sit next to each other on the sofa. That too. Yeah, me, and, me and, and yeah, have a cuddle been, and all that sort of stuff. We've been married nineteen years this year, and we've been together a lot longer than that. Um, so we're kind of comfortable with just we spend a lot of time together as well, don't we? Yeah. 
And I mean, it's sometimes I think if anything, we might go for like a coffee or something in the daytime. That probably is more Starbucks. To us. That's probably more to us than going out yes. on a date night because neither of us drink. Um, it's also I don't. I'm not overly like I got, keen I got about get dressed up, and it's like I've just put the kids to bed. And... We used we used to probably go out more. Yeah. But we, well, just... when we when we were younger, we we would obviously oh, when we were younger we would go back different. to Cornwall, and then Granny and Granddad would maybe babysit for us, and then we would go. And then out, we both used we? to have a drink when we went out then yes um whereas we wouldn't now not that saying that you've only got to drink if you go out but what i mean is if i go to the cinema i'm probably going to fall asleep um i don't really like eating in front of lots of people um so i feel really conscious of that so it's just easier have you me. ever have you ever fall, fallen asleep getting your hair cut no nearly but no right so i did once <laughs> i've not done nearly that. I don't know. I, I, Ask I was, I was she, might, she might tell you that I, I have. Going. She just didn't want to tell me because she's too nice. Well, <laughs> that's that's when you know you're tired. Is when you're falling asleep, like doing something like that, and it's. Oh, Granny and Granddad still coming up for Easter. Yes. Granny and Granddad are coming up next week, so after Easter they're coming up. We're looking um, forward to that. Yeah, we are looking forward to that. We haven't seen them. I was trying to work out actually how long it's been. It's been quite a long time um, since last year. So the twins are very excited. Everyone's excited, but the twins are extremely excited. Uh, I'm just double next to you. Can you do a live with the kids? <clears throat> yeah, we might do actually. We'd have to be a daytime one because I don't think an evening one would work for them. Our children are very, very routine. In fact, we're very routined. I mean, now when we go on holiday, it's different. You know, they stay up later and we do a bit more. But when we're at home, we're quite routine, don't we? So they, and if the if the kids have a late night, the little ones, it really. Catch up I don't know. Last time we went away, they had a couple of late nights, didn't they? And they they did all right, actually, didn't they? Yeah. Now they're getting a little bit older. Florence isn't great at sleeping anyway, so it doesn't really matter for her what time she goes to. Somebody asked a minute ago, how old are the children? So Lizzie will be 19, 19. in a couple of weeks. Um, Olivia is 18 this year. She's Hi, Elizabeth. <clears throat> 17 at the moment. Um, the twins. Yes, Teresa. <clears throat> Easter egg hunt. Are Sunday. 16. Um, they were 16 in January. Noah is 14. Eva is 12. Toby's 11. The other twins, Leah and Erin, they're eight. Um, Agnes is six. She'll be seven in May. Joseph is five. He'll be six in August. And Florence will be two next week. Bless her. Somebody just asked, is baby 13 on the way? Not yet. Not yet. Who knows? But never say never. We're, we're going to leave that open. So one, one of the questions that I did get... have lots <laughs> One of the questions that I got asked by Kevin on Instagram, um, how do I feel after having my oh, yeah. stents? This was a question we had this morning, actually. And it's quite an important one for me. So um, anybody that's watching, so th this all, all stemmed from me listening to a conversation that um, a guy I know was having about having chest pain and angina and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I, my ears perked up and I just and he just went, go get yourself checked. So I went and got myself checked. Within about a week or so, I was, I was in cardiology, uh, seeing the cardiologist, and then I was sent over to Inverness for the um, pressure test, they call it. Like a, I think they call it like a pressure test on your heart where they put the dye in and all that kind of stuff. And they spotted that um, the branch of arteries, which is horrible, what, it's, it's horrible what they call it, but they call it the widow maker. It's a branch of arteries on the front of the heart. And if they get blocked, you've got to get to medical care straight away. You know, there's no messing about it was that that was blocking. So I ended up going and having, um, literally within within a week or so, I was over at Aberdeen uh, with the cardiologist again, um, getting two stents fitted in the artery that was blocking. That said, there's another artery at the back of my heart, that, which is which is thinned a little bit, but it's now under control with medication. So I'm on medication every single day. Uh, I take five drugs a day. That's going to go down to four soon because I'm on a serious blood thinner at the moment, but I can stop taking that in May and then stay on aspirin. Um, so I, I've only ever, I've only had one bout of angina since then, and that's probably I was pushing myself quite a lot, and um, and that's it, that's it. So I have to say, getting the stents fitted has completely changed my life, and I didn't realise how much of an effect it was having on me. And there was a, I think that, we hadn't, I noticed that you'd yeah. been getting very very tired, and just. Are you not you're not normally the type of person that gets tired. It's me that gets tired. You're normally not like, and I don't mean just tired from like but getting up early or a yeah. busy day, but physically tired. When you would go when hi I mean, Karen, we walk a lot from the Falklands. <clears throat> I've been, been there, there twice. twice. 
we walk quite a lot, don't we? And I think you were starting to get tired just walking yeah. a very short distance. And that well, never, I mean, I know we're not the fittest of people before anybody says anything, but we used to be, believe it or not. Um, but then life took over and, and we both used to run 10Ks every three days. I keep thinking I might go back to it, but I don't. Um, anyway, um, you started to get really tired when we were going out for walks. And I said to you, this is this doesn't feel right. This something feels wrong. And then you heard that conversation. And then you were like, do you know what? We'll get checked well, out. Is... But what scares me the most is if you hadn't have got, if you hadn't have heard that conversation and you hadn't got checked out, which is one of the reasons that we, that Ben put all the video together because we wouldn't have necessarily, it would have just been one of those things that you thought, oh, I'm just getting a bit tired or I'm just well, unfit or I just need to lose some weight or I just need to go for a run or you know, any one of those things. But in actual fact, who knows what could have happened? No. And it, it feels, I don't want to think what could have happened. Angina feels a bit like an indigestion in the fact that you get this pain going up through your shoulder. That was the other thing you kept saying that you were getting indigestion. Yeah. Uh, and, it, and it's not. It, it, it can be angina, um, especially if you're kind of like in your 40s, 50s, whatever. Or, and no, to be honest with you, Dave was even younger. So he was in his 30s. Um, yeah, it can, it can, and it's not. And it, it's, it, it doesn't pick it. It doesn't like it doesn't pick one type of person either. When I was getting my stents fitted, I was in this, I was in the wards with a guy that was a semi-professional cyclist, and he collapsed in the middle of a race, and he was in getting two stents fitted. So it can affect anybody really. Um, We've got quite a few people watching from New Zealand. Hi, um, Ben's brother lives in New Zealand. Yeah, he does. He does. And sister-in-law and uh, niece and nephew. I was just uh, it's, it's the one. Go. It's the one from the Falklands. Two tours in the Falklands. Love the Falklands. Uh, it's a long been. way though. Wow, it's a long way. I've never been. Yeah, it's it's one of those places actually. It's a, it's it's a beautiful place, the Falklands, especially if you like no beaches, trees. penguins, um, and wind. <laughs> well, we do live in Scotland, so yeah. there's quite a lot of that. It's very. It can be very windy in the Falklands. Somebody else asked a minute ago that I can't remember where they said they were from. Was it Vancouver Island or somewhere? Is is our area a good area to come and visit? Um, most people, I mean, don't get me wrong, this area is a beautiful area, but most people that come up to the north of Scotland do the NC500, don't they? Yeah. Which is like the tour around, like, um, the other side from where we are, so we're this side. I mean, we've got some beautiful places here as well, yeah. but most people do that kind of tour. But we yeah, love... Definitely. This place is beautiful. So we love the Aviemore area. Yeah, Absolutely definitely. love Kangons. it. So you've got Loch Ness and all those sorts of places and going up towards Inverness and there's loads of different places. The Cairngorms, you're right in the middle of the Cairngorms National Park. It's beautiful. Um, but we do want to do the islands as well, don't we? We want to do the um, the West Coast Islands, yeah, as well. Also, Shetlands. We we thought about going to Shetlands as well, haven't we? Yes. I'd love to go. To I'd Shetlands. love to go to Shetland. Yeah. Somebody said, "Have we ever visited Wales?" Um, we lived in Wales. And we lived in North Wales, but mm -hmm. I have family in um, South Wales. We've got quite a lot of family in South yeah. Wales. So, um, yeah, Newport. That, um, that was my bad attempt like at Welsh. Borada, is it Diochenval? Diochenval. We've got, yeah, so I've got quite a lot of family yeah. in, in um, on my mum's side. And the twins were born in Azbati Gwyneth, which is um, the hospital in Bangor. Birth certificates in are in Welsh and English. Mm -hmm. Hi from Plymouth. Hi, Blinda. We've got a Janner on. I'm just going to Plymouth for days out. Just love train. Plymouth. Do you think she, I'd love, well, yeah, we'd love to go to Florida. Um, hi Nikki, hi Gillian. <clears throat> Do you know we haven't been to Loch Ness? I know it's terrible, it's on my bucket we list. We haven't been to Loch Ness. Why I don't know, we, but we haven't. But we are going to try and go this summer. It's just not happened. I think when we moved up here, obviously, Ben was away quite a few. Hi Monique from the Netherlands, <clears throat> quite a few sum summers you were away, yeah. And then we had the twins, and obviously, they were premature. That first year was just kind of keeping them out. Thank of you, Retta. And then from then on, we just haven't Hi, made it over. But we um we do need it's 3 40 a.m. in Perth. Is it? <laughs> I stay up till 2 a.m. most nice to see your videos when posted. Oh, thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. We really appreciate it. I'd be fast asleep. So the only place I've been in America actually is Utah. So I've been to Utah, I was there for five weeks on deployment. That was quite good. I really enjoyed being there. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Jerry. Yes. Would you do a TV show about your family again and fast? Yeah, we would probably. I think the, the last one we did with um, BBC. BBC Scotland was really good. I mean, we made some really good friends on that, didn't we? Yeah. And it was a really nicely put together um, show. That was probably my favourite one that we did. 
so yeah i definitely i definitely do with them it was good it was really yeah. enjoyable to film as well and um the one thing um the BBC, BBC Scotland did do, uh, or the media company that was filming for them, they trusted me to film. So um, a lot of the video that was in the sh TV show, um, I filmed on my phone. Um, obviously, they knew that we did YouTube as well, so um, they kind of trusted it. All, all they would do is just send us a little um, idea of what they wanted, and I'd just go and do it because it was it was easier in the end, especially when you were nearing the pregnancy with Flo, weren't you? Yeah, it's, it's nice been two years back. since we were on TV. Yeah, no, we would love, we would love to, definitely. Be on TV. How does Cardiff sound? Yeah. Thank you, Nicola, in Cardiff. What show Thank was you, it? Daniela. Nikki, Daniela which... always comments so, on all my vlogs, and I really appreciate. It. And I know I don't always get back to everybody, but you always have such lovely things to say, and it really means a lot. So somebody just asked what TV show we were on. So we were on a TV show on ITV called, it was called, 30, was it 31 Kids and Cow in the Pennies or something? Yeah, something like that. It was it was us and quite a few other families, wasn't it? So, so, yeah, it was a couple of other families. And then the one with the, that we really liked was the BBC, BBC one, Scotland. and that was Scotland's Biggest Families. Which was Not us and the, another family, the Han family, family. Who were really nice. They're lovely. Yeah. So, so it's us and the Han family from, are they from Dundee? I think they are from Dundee. From Dundee. They? They're lovely. Really, really nice people. Hi, Sue. Is Flo's hair red? Do you know what I think it might be? Um, so I have, when I do have natural hair colour, which is not very often, um, I Thanks, had Kirsten. white hair when I was a baby, and then I've had like a strawberry kind of blonde tinge. But I think he Flo's definitely got a red, she's definitely got a fiery um, temper for sure. She's so funny. She's hilarious. Florence is just hilarious. Well, they like all are. They all are, to be honest. One day when we go to Cornwall, we will have a meet with everybody. Hi, Emma. We will get everybody to meet up on, like, Portreath Beach or something, because it would be amazing. I nice one, Julie. Wait. We used to spend so much time on Portreath Beach as kids. I used to take my bike. I used to ride my bike from Camborne. To Hi, Jules. So there's Jules watching from Oxford. So um, Toby was born in John Ratcliffe. Or he wasn't. He was born on the way to John Ratcliffe. An ambulance. Um, I was stationed at um, I told them I in Oxfordshire for, for a few years. I told them plenty of times that I would not make it to the hospital, and I didn't. Hi, Catherine. Hi, Samantha. More, more, Gloria. Hi. So we live. <laughs> <laughs> so we live in Burkhead. Somebody just asked, "Where do we live in Scotland?" We live in Burkhead. Um, we used to live in Lossie, but obviously we, we moved here um, in August. And we like it. Sorry, I'm just looking at um, things that are popping up. Ben's got things popping up on his phone. Have I? <laughs> Don't even talk about the vlog with the crashed What's the that? Crashed drone. It's not. It's not. Oh. Don't. We haven't finished the vlog because we are waiting for a weather window so, so we can actually fly it. So sometimes we do... Um, collaborations and the most recent one is with this drone and I, and I quite fancied the new drone just to give it a it shot fly to, see, to see what it was like and uh, it's normally Noah that does the flying of the drone but I just thought to myself nah I'll, I'll, I'll nail it it's fine it'll be okay so I filmed the whole unboxing and review and all that kind of stuff and then went outside to fly it and this thing well well you've probably saw if you've seen the vlog it was just like this I was like oh my god what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And But eventually, I managed to get it down far enough that it ditched into the beach. So I've had to get in touch with the company. I got in touch with the company, uh, and I've told them what happened, and they're I fine. Said we're going to have to wait for a weather window. Yes. Someone's just said, can you tell us what it's like living with having all electric heating? Is it cheaper than gas? Um, That's a good question, actually. I don't actually know, to be honest. I think it is a little bit cheaper than gas. I mean, it's we're still paying a lot but we're paying less than we were in our last house. But then obviously that is much more than we were paying. I mean, I remember when our heating, our gas and electric bill would come to £250 a month. Yeah. Way back oh, when. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Ago. You know, that was what it cost us. And I remember thinking that that was a lot of money, whereas now obviously the prices have gone up. But I would say the air source heat pump that we've got, it, it is cheaper than having gas and electric, I think. But I do, <clears> the only <throat> thing I do miss, I miss the gas oven. Yeah. I do miss a gas hob because the electric hob's a pain. But um, the heating 
is really good. It's really good, I think. It, it warms up really quick. Touch wood, we haven't had any, any that's, issues. That, that's for Micah. All right, whatever. So is that. <laughs> Um, we ha as, you know, we've got really big radiators as well, haven't we? Mm -hmm. So when it, you know, we don't actually have to put it on for very long for it to warm up. But yeah, I would say it's it is a bit cheaper probably. Uh, guys. Oh, I'm not worried about that. Uh, no. Um. Have you eaten Isabel's cake yet? Yes. Yeah, we have. Um, we've eaten half of it. We had it at tea time and it was amazing. But the slices really were so big, we had to all eat half a slice because yeah. it was just... And it's dairy-free. The only bit that had dairy on it was the mini eggs on the top. But for Agnes, we just took the mini eggs off and scraped the icing off where the mini eggs had been and um, so she could have... Noah's definitely a wingman. Yeah, he is. He's a good lad, really. I mean, you know, he's 14. He's a 14-year-old boy, and he's he's really he's got a really a really nice group of friends, isn't he? Hi, Kelly. Um, they're all really nice boys, and he's just, I mean, don't get me wrong, sometimes he can be really annoying. When you're sat in a car with him, he's very annoying. But he's a really they're all good kids, all the teenagers. Hi, Wendell. All, all the little ones, obviously, are, are great, but all the older ones have just grown up to be really nice people aren't they they're helpful hi danny they're friendly they're just kind aren't yes, they they're just grown definitely. up to be exactly what i wanted them to grow up to be um and i think that's where you know like all our our values and our things that we were have felt that are important i mean i could talk about that sort of stuff for hours but we'll have to do that on another live another day about what you know what is <clears throat> what values we teach to the children and all those sorts of things um but yeah we're lucky Definitely. Toby is so helpful. Yes, bless him. He is really helpful. Toby is also somebody that needs to be kept busy a lot. Um, he likes to be busy. So we'll do another 10 minutes, guys. All right. So we'll probably finish at about 10 past eight tonight because obviously Chinese is calling. But somebody just asked, um, why did we move to Murray in Scotland? Basically, we were stationed in Oxfordshire. Um and Benson was, it wasn't a bad base, actually. It was all right. And, and you have Wallingford and stuff like that. But the problem with us is we're very beachy people. I didn't like being inland. And it's very, very far inland. If you live around the Oxfordshire area, you're quite inland. So you're a couple of hours, at least two and a half hours drive to the nearest beach, which would probably be down the south, Brighton or Bournemouth or I something just, like I that. I hated not being able to be near the sea. Yeah. I hated it. I, I've all, we were brought up by the sea. Yeah. I didn't realise how much it would affect me moving away from the sea because we'd never moved away but obviously i did i found it really hard i felt that because whenever if you're in a good mood if you're in a bad mood if you feel like you need to get out for a walk you need some fresh air Thanks, Nigel. Beach, you get fresh air from the beach i couldn't do that and i felt i did feel quite suffocated so yeah anyway um we were looking for another posting and like i said to you earlier it, the military is quite good if you, if you want to get posted there, there's sometimes there's voluntary posts come up and there's voluntary posts that came up for lossy mouth for RAF Lossy Mouth, um, and it's specifically in the engine bay. So, um, and that was kind of my trade. So, um, we took a punt, didn't we? We took, we took a go. We, 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 we loved we, it from day one. We packed up, honest. moved up to Lossy Mouth. Um, and do you know what? The first time we drove into Lossy Mouth, uh, we drove past the harbour, didn't we? And the um, promenade. Thank you, Vicky. And we were absolutely blown away. I think for me, it was the morning that we woke up because obviously if you've ever done a military move it's normally a three-day move yeah and you stay in different places along the way so we stayed in a hotel in elgin um and in the morning when we woke up i could hear the seagulls now i know seagulls are a pain and yes they can when we used to have them nested on the roof they were a pain and quite vicious but just hearing them was meaning that we were by the sea so that morning i knew that this i was like i'm home i'm home and yeah. I, I did to be honest i um I really miss Lossie. I miss living in Lossie. I really, really do. We loved Lossie. Yeah. Uh, and I know we're not very far away. I know we're literally 12 minutes down the road. But um, I, I really do miss Lossie. I mean, we're making a life for ourselves for ourselves in Burkhead. And we love Burkhead as well. And we love the walks. And, and we've got and some beautiful, and the beautiful walks. And we walks couldn't be closer and, to the sea. And, and, the, and, and the trees. We, you know, I do miss, and that. I miss being in Lossie. Yeah. I think because we've been there so long. We, so felt, we were there for 10 years, weren't we? We felt like... Um, it's difficult when you move to a new place, isn't it? You know, even though it's only just down the road. But um, don't hello forget, from Greece. Hi. hi. Don't forget, we only moved in August. Mm. We, we only moved house in, in, in August. So what's that, about nine months ago now? It's about nine months. 
Yeah, we we love going to the beach. We we I think Hi Carol. I've completely lost what I was gonna say. I started <laughs> reading and then forgot what I was gonna say. I think I've done most of most of the questions, guys, that we that we had penciled down. Um Agnes loves her new bed. Like literally loves her new bed. She loves the best things that she loves about her new bed is the fact that she can see the sea from the window and she just lies there looking at the sea. She does love it. She absolutely loves it. Hi. Hi, Catherine. Oh, I'm looking forward to my Chinese. I am. I'm hungry. Why do that cakes? Cakes last me a while. Brighton. I've been to Brighton. Hi, Beverly. I'm sure I've been to Brighton once. I've been to Brighton a few times. Brighton in the Hove. I know. Thanks, Andrea. Honest, I'd quite happily sit and chat for hours, um, but you'd probably all get bored of me. Oh, well, thank you thank so much. Thank you so much. much. Kiwi man. Are you going to try Godonas again? Probably not. <laughs> do you not buy the teens of Chinese sometimes um, but not all of them like it um, but sometimes yeah sometimes it'll happen with us it depends really on whether they want it, it's, it's one of, it or not it's one of the things that we decided um, a few years back was um, they've all got such different tastes and I'm not saying that we do four or five we, we put a menu together and the kids choose off the menu we, we'll do uh, a core meal and something else if, if they don't want to eat the, what we're cooking um, do, but, they do sometimes have Chinese. But to be honest, with the older ones now, um, they get they get into the age now. You know, sixteen and sixteen, seventeen, sometimes eighteen. Sometimes not even here. You know, like Lizzie they, would be out with her friends eating. Elizabeth whatever. will buy her own dinner, and like Olivia will, and they might go out for dinner with friends. Yeah. or you know, they're not life. They're life always here. I think life changes, and you've just got to move on. We actually it. had. We it, actually, actually I think maybe on one of our lives, we ought to do a um, talk about um, like teenagers and how they how difficult it is as a parent because we've been talking about this lately haven't we yeah about how thanks lucy how difficult i have found it with the older ones growing up and doing more things with their friends away from home Agnes you know is cute. um so yeah maybe we'll talk about that a bit more next time on the line sorry i missed that about how um we've been chatting about how difficult i find it with the older ones growing up yeah and kind of Going into well, I mean, more stuff, I mean, it, you know, out and about jobs, all that sort of stuff. We could, we could, um, we could, we could chat for absolute hours about loads of different subjects, and maybe no, that's, I've been there. I mean, now that we've done this live, um, yeah, we'll, you're right. We'll do... Sorry, that there is no support as for parenting teenagers. You get, you know, you get lots of support and, and ideas and stuff for parents, toddlers, babies, all that sort of stuff. Teenager chat, but then when you get to teenagers, we're all just like, talk. What do we do? What do we do here? Why does nobody speak about this? Why does nobody speak about teenagers? And it's not, I mean, we're lucky, you know, our teenagers are great, but that doesn't mean that they don't face problems, that we don't face problems with them, that, you know, we have issues that we're like, I don't even know how to handle that. And the, the thing for me, like I was saying, is how you handle it as a parent or as a mum, especially about them wanting to go and do more things away from you about letting go you know that's that's one of the things that i think i've found hi laura um really difficult is, yeah. is the letting go thing i find that really, really it's hard. also very important to us that we oh my god five floors of primark be amazing <laughs> that we don't um talk about anything on youtube that the kids don't want us to talk about so if there's anything that's um truly private and they don't want to, don't want us to discuss it because um, you know, and if they don't want to get filmed or if they don't want to be filmed doing anything like eating or whatever, then we won't. Yeah, we don't film stuff just like don't. that. But I think I think as a mm -hmm. just just chatting about how you actually deal with things as a parent for teenagers, I think is yes. Yeah. Is... Somebody just I think last question. Um somebody just asked, um, do we ever regret doing YouTube? Do you know YouTube's one of those things that I've we've never regretted doing YouTube. It but it, it's a very you you're kind of on a roller coaster because you really want to grow um but it's it's playing to the algorithm and all this kind of stuff but we've 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 kind of stepped away from doing that and we we just make videos and we put them on don't we and we for, try for me it's we from day one i've always said if we're going to do this we're going to be honest i'm going to be myself i can't be somebody that i'm not um i can't 
do things that I wouldn't normally do. I mean, occasionally we might I'm not, we might do a challenge or something occasionally, but I have to be um, authentic. Otherwise, I can't I can't do it. I no. can't change the person that I am. And I think I was talking about this on my vlog last on my blog, sorry, last night about how I'm kind of trying to accept who I am at the moment. You know, I'm not 21 anymore. I'm 45, and you kind of get into a different. It's all quite difficult, but I have to. I have to be up. I have to be myself. Otherwise, I can't. I can't do it. And you know, the only downside, as we all know, to to any kind of social media, is the trolls. That's the only downside. And sometimes you deal with it, and sometimes you can't deal with it. Sometimes it's really, really hard, and other times you are just like whatever. But it sometimes I think that's why I talk about it as well. Sometimes because sometimes quite a lot there. Um, <laughs> I do find that I have to talk about it. I try not to, but occasionally. I have to because it just gets a bit too much but mm -hmm. you find that from anybody on social media from the really big 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 stars to just small channels you know you find that they get the same obviously the bigger you get the you know some of the some of the things that people like in the really big youtubers and stuff some of the stuff they get it's just like oh wow i don't know how you but you do you know yeah. you do because yeah. you're it's a reflection on them not you that's yeah. what you've got to keep remembering definitely um and that's the way that's the way we both look at it it's it's like you know it's it's there it is what it is thank you but Lisa. but we never ever regret starting youtube ever we love it and we love sharing our life and we're proud of our family um we're proud of each other and we're, we're working really hard to get to where we want to be i think so. as well i i mean i feel that sometimes if we can give i've never been the type of person that wants to that feels like I'm in a place to be able to give people advice because I'm like, what, you know, what do I know? But quite often people have said, thank you for sharing this. Or, and I just think if we can share things that might help somebody else along the way, especially like things that we might have done that help, you know, that have helped us. What did yeah. I do? Something I found the other day and I thought I must share that with people that I found that because that's really handy. I just think if I can just make people feel happier, then, you know, I'm happy with that. What are you Val, laughing at? Val, Val just put, yeah, trolls can jog on. Exactly. Good, yeah. So, all right, so last one, Mama is talking about the uh, PO box. We'll have, a, we'll have a conversation. Me and Zoe will have a conversation about getting a PO box. It's something that we've been talking about for a long time. And um... Tracy, Ben, help me go to the doctors. I've got my stent next week. Good luck. <gasps> See, that's exactly Good luck, what Tracy. I mean. That's, that's exactly, amazing. Exactly, exactly what I mean. That's just amazing. Help. I've always said if I can just help one other person, then I've done something. Yeah. So basic, basically, the cardiologist said to me, um, if I hadn't come in when I did, I was probably months away from having something major happening. So it's always worth getting checked out. <clears throat> Somebody else has said about us doing, actually, when we did our radio interview with MFR um, for the Cash for Kids thing a couple of months ago, um, Jodie said to us, she's the breakfast presenter. She said to us, you two should do a podcast. Maybe we should. Maybe we should do a podcast. I could talk for hours. Maybe we'll get the gear as well. We'll sometimes. get the mics. Get Honestly, all the mics I could set talk up. for hours. It just, I, just, I think we both can. I just go off on a tangent sometimes. We both can, can we? Yeah, but sometimes we don't listen to what each other are saying. That can be annoying. <laughs> I do it to you, you do it to me. That was one of the questions. What annoys, what, what annoys each other about each other? Is that, is that even the question? Ben doesn't hear anything. You say to him, I told you that. I did. And he goes, no, you didn't. And I say, yeah, yeah, I did. I told you that. He says, no, you didn't tell me that. I, I, I did. I did tell you. I, I, I don't do that. No, I don't. All the time. <laughs> I can still imagine you both camping in the summer with the twins. I don't do camping. Ben will camp with them. I don't do camping. I've got to dig out the tent, actually. I don't do camping. Because, you know, we're doing this charity challenge. And can I just say thank you to everybody that's donated on our charity challenge um we've we've hit 1200 which is amazing um we're doing we started out for a little for a thousand yeah i, I, I have to say thank you so much to everybody that's supporting that honestly i really really appreciate it and you can find the link to that in on our channel homepage, and in the link tree and that um that's that's amazing honestly i mean i, I would have been happy to raise a thousand pounds but it's not the best <laughs> Camping in Cornwall. Yeah. Oh, yeah. France. That's what I was talking about. No, I was, I was talking about getting it. So I'm getting the tent out because the twins are going nuts. I mean, you know what Lee and Erin are like at the best of times. I mean, they'll love it. Lee and Erin are just like a double act all at the best of times, right? And they they make me laugh so much. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff. Um, I have to kind of I have to kind of stop filming because they will just keep going and going and going. Um, 
but we're going to get the um, we're going to get the tent out because they wanted to camp in the garden. So that's one of the things that you guys have suggested we do for a challenge, which we're definitely going to do for when it gets a bit warmer. And we're getting to that point actually. I'm thinking maybe May, April. There's May. There's a challenge that I quite once wanted to take. What's that? But, which is the open water swimming one. Oh. I just better have an ambulance on standby. <laughs> <laughs> but I think. I'm scared of, and as much as I love the sea, I, I'm scared of the sea. So I don't go swimming in the sea because I'm scared of swimming in the sea and I'm scared of swimming in open water. Um, but I see everybody doing like the cold water swimming. Obviously, it wouldn't work if it was in summer, although the water is still cold. But I see people doing the cold water swimming and I, I know that people have said that it's really, really good for your mental health. Um, so I said to Ben, maybe that's some a challenge for one of the months, maybe later on in the year when it's a bit colder. I don't know if I want to do it when it's colder, but anyway, that maybe I ought to take on. Because I'm, for I'm, me, I'm, it's, I'm, like I'm, a, it's a triple it. challenge. Because number one, I'm going to have to get in a swimsuit, which is, you know, that's oh, a come on. No, that's a challenge been... for yourself. Number two, I've got to go into open water, and that's pretty scary for me. Um, I'd have to have some special shoes. I think I think Zoe's got a fantastic body, and she should get it out more, <clears> especially <throat> doing the, the halls. I don't mean it like that. I mean doing the halls and, 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 and doing the try-ons. You should. Yeah, I'm, and the kids Just love be being in water. They love it. But for me, I'm quite scared of... I'll go in the swimming pool, but I mean, like what I'm saying is outdoor open water, like the sea or the lock or anything like that. So I would quite fancy doing some open water swimming in like Loch Morlock or mm -hmm. something like that. Loch Morlock is one of my favourite places on earth. Um, so some, somebody's just asked, actually, so this will probably be our last one because it's, it's about it's only a quarter past, isn't it? Um, somebody's yeah, just asked, so. what is our number one parenting tip that we can... I think that's Catherine... Hi, Catherine. I, I know it is, Lindsay. I know it's still freezing. Um, <laughs> and But see, maybe I could drag you in with me. So my number one parenting tip, and the one thing that I've learned over the years, is that just relax. Yeah. Because when we first started out, you like this, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. And when you're going out and about in different places, you think you, you just assume that everybody's staring at you and everybody's judging you. And all this kind of stuff. And you're just nitpicking. We used to knit. I, I used to, no, don't do that. Put that down. Don't touch that. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't touch. It's just to relax because the more, and I don't mean um, in the dis, in discipline, I, what I'm talking about is, you know, they've got to know what's right from wrong. Pick and choose your moments. But you're picking and choose your battles. Pick and choose, pick and pick and choose, choose your battles. moments. You know, just, you only have to kind of discipline what's really needing to be disciplined. And discipline is such a harsh word. I mean, don't do that, guys, because of this, you know. Don't do that, guys, because of that, you know. Um, Joseph was throwing rocks into the – he was throwing rocks into the um, into the little tiny rock pool, and I said, just don't throw big rocks in there because it might be that there's a fishy in there or something. You know, it's just kind of like just to, just teaching them right from wrong. But it's about relaxing and honestly, because sometimes if you listen – sometimes when I used to listen to myself, I used to I used to wind myself up because they said, don't do that, put that down, pick that up. And just relax. Lindsay says she's going to hold my coat if I go open it. <laughs> I need a dry robe. That's what I need. Dry robe. A dry robe. We all know about dry robes. <laughs> that's what I need. Amazing. Guys, it's been absolutely fantastic. We're going to do this again. Should we do it, should we say, in a couple of weeks? Yeah. Or we'll see. I don't know what we're doing next week. Maybe we'll do it. Maybe I'll set it up for next Friday again. Or I'll let you know. I'll let you know in the community feed um what we've decided and also what we're going to decide about the po box means only to have a chat about that um because i know lots of people lots of you guys have said i oh, would love to send you some christmas cards for the kids or or whatever you know and we would we'd really appreciate that anyway so we'll have a chat about that shall we yeah I, i'm not gonna say anything concrete now but we'll have a chat about that and also the lives i'll let you know what's going on with the lives um i think we should definitely do more yeah definitely do more it's like therapy isn't it it's like therapy could talk about other stuff i'm off to primark they've got dry robes <laughs> but can i just say thank you so much guys for all of your support on this uh live and um don't forget to subscribe because i want to build we want to build the numbers up thank you to everybody's questions it's, it's impossible to get back to all of them but you know we'll do more lives and you can ask more questions again so and i'll probably i'll probably put the community post on before we do a live and then you can ask any any different questions um, but obviously, we'll, there's plenty to natter about. There's plenty to discuss. It's Thank bit, you so much. Thanks, Jane. Wetsuit shoes. That's exactly what I need. Exactly what I need. 
Right, are we going to go for a Chinese? We're going to go for Chinese. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Take Bye. care. Have a great Easter. Don't oh, yeah, forget, Easter. Don't Easter forget the vlogs. Chocolate. The vlogs are coming up, and we've got an Easter egg hunt coming up on Sunday, which will be out on the Monday. Uh, and the kids are going to be absolutely wired because the, there's going to be lots of chocolate around. So it's going to be great fun, and we'll be vlogging. So take care of yourselves, guys. All right. See you later. Hi. Oh, I lost my voice. <laughs>